Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have a suggestion from Michael Atwood. Hola, Michael. Hola, Michael. And Michael wants us to talk about the difference between irse uh -huh. and salir. Irse vale. and salir, okay? And this is for beginners. So, um, and Michael also said this, Cynthia. Uh, he said, ha ha ha, uh, that was a good video. Um, but you need to explain what sueño húmedo means. Okay. Cynthia. I have to explain. <laughs> I have to explain. I, he didn't say Cynthia has to explain. <laughs> well, I'm not explaining it. No, you just have to look in Google. Just it's, Google it's, it. It's when you go to bed and it's really hot in summer. And you're sweating. And you're sweating and you wake up and everything is wet. That's true. That's a, that's true. That's a wet dream. Which is what's happening these days. I, 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 I don't get out of bed in the morning. I swim out of it. Oh now. my God. Yes. His side of the bed is like... <laughs> I get out of bed. And then drink three gallons of water to make up. And that is a, a wet dream. Entonces, ahora... <laughs> a sweat dream, I don't, have. I don't have wet dreams, I have sweat dreams. So, um, nos vemos en la segunda parte. So, Cynthia... Ay, Gordon, a ver. Let's talk about... Uh, tienes calor, ¿no? Tengo calor, tengo sí. calor. Hace eh, calor en general. It's very hot here. Hace... Bueno, hoy menos, Hoy, hoy eh. menos, pero ayer 38 grados. But it doesn't matter. You see what happens. There's a, there's a delayed reaction. So the, the, the country heats up. So last two days we've had 40 degrees. What happens when the country heats up, the house heats up. So it's like... You know when you, you know you used to build those things that would bake potatoes and then the bricks would get hot and it, it would just be hot for ages. That's what happens. So the That's temperature, our house. <laughs> yeah. So it's actually cooler to go outside. If you go outside, it's cooler than what it is inside the house. That's true. Yeah. And then in winter, it's colder in the house sometimes. Yeah. Than it's outside. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure who designed these houses, but I need to have a word with them. <laughs> Something not quite right. Well, you know what we have to do now? We have to open all the doors and windows and Gordon is not happy because now it's my turn to like opening the doors and the windows. And all going, the flies come in. Gordon can't say anything anymore because now we he's allowing me to let the, the air come in. No, I do say something. Happy. He's because very English and he's like, shut that door, shut that window in the UK. Blah, shut, blah, that blah, blah. <laughs> shut that door. Shut that door. Um we've got to close the doors because the flies come in we have flies in the summer and we have it's bloody freezing in the winter I like doors closed anyway so let's get on with our irse and salir vale. so Michael wants to know the difference irse okay that's ir as a reflexive verb which yes. has a slightly different meaning to what ir ir is just to go ir is go somewhere yeah yeah. Ir or to go to do something. Oh, yes, it's yeah. just to go. To go. To go. Exactly. Yeah, to go. Yeah. But then it becomes reflexive. Yes. Irse. And that's to go oneself. It, yes, it's like I'm off or, you know, it could just, it could be used on its own. Mm. Like when you say in English, I'm off. Yeah. Yes. Or, but you can't, you don't say in English, I'm, I'm taking myself no, no, but it's just, I'm Out. doing that so that people have it in their head. Yes. Of what, it's, what it is, it's the act of taking yourself away. Yes. And okay. that's why you can say, in Spanish you say, me voy. Yeah? Yes. And in, in English we'd say, I'm off. I'm off now. Ya me voy. Uh -huh. Yeah? So it's, it's the act of leaving one place and going away from it. Yes. Yeah? So it's taking yourself off. So, for example, what causes confusion sometimes, so that, for example... Voy a España la semana que viene. Mm -hmm. Or me voy a España la semana que viene. Mm -hmm. yeah? Both are perfectly fine. Exactly. And, and that causes confusion. People say, well, I don't know which one should I use. What you're really saying is, I'm going to Spain next week. That's voy. Yeah. And me voy a España is, I'm off to Spain next week. Which is like virtually the same, really. Like, it, well, it is. It's really... But that's why they're both fine, because in English we can say the same. I'm going to Spain, I'm off to Spain. They're both fine. Like, in, in many sentences you can use 
both mm -hmm. but in others you can't like you know this you couldn't say um just ear like for example in you in someone's house and you say boy where like it, you need to you need to stay where it's like unfinished boy, if you say boy just boy on its own that only means either i'm coming yeah and so somebody shouts for you and you go i'm coming you we would say boy we would say i go we don't say I'm co I come, yeah, I yeah, go. Yeah. I go, okay, that's what we say. So that, I think that's the only place in which you can say boy, mm -hmm. full stop, when you mm -hmm. say I'm coming. If not, you can't say boy, because you would need to say where. It's boy, an un unfinished sentence. I'm, I'm going. But, well, I, go. I, I go. I go. I go. I go. Where? Where are you going? You know, it doesn't make yeah. sense in itself. Yeah, yeah. So... I go to the shops, I go to the cinema, um, whatever, okay? So you, you need to say where. Yeah. However, you can say me voy, because that's, I'm, I'm leaving, I'm taking myself away, I'm, I'm off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of this place. Or, or you can also use it for, I'm going somewhere, I'm off somewhere. Yeah. Yes, so I'm taking myself away from here to go somewhere. Yeah. That would be the difference. Exactly, and and that's the the for example, because you can you can say to somebody, "Voy a estudiar," okay. That's exactly. I'm, I'm a going estudiar, to study. I'm, I'm going, going to, to study. study. That yes. doesn't mean you're going anywhere. It's just it's what what you are going to do. Yes, that will be part of the future tenses. You know, mm -hmm. you you can you have the I will, I'm going to, or I'm doing something mm -hmm. in the future. See, mm -hmm. so we have the the different types of future in English and also in Spanish. So I'm going to study is voy a estudiar. Okay, if you said me voy a estudiar, me voy, that means you off to study. Exactly. I'm off to study. I'm instead going, of I'm, I'm going, going off to study. So you, you literally are you're taking yourself off to another place to study. Yes. You're not studying in the yes, same like room. Yes, I'm going to the library to study. Yeah, yeah. You, you wouldn't be staying. But what you can say, voy a estudiar aquí mismo. Do you study at the library? Or I've just... Uh, we do. Not, not like they do here in Spain. Ah, okay. Because here in Spain, people go to the library and they can study there. I mean, I don't know, but I I, I don't think it's as common. It, 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 people can do it, but I think here in Spain, it's very common to go to the yeah. library. Okay, well. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so that's a difference. So... Yes. Ir is just going, going to do something or going to a place. Irse is going off, taking yourself off to go somewhere. It's always a motion from one place to another. Yeah. Okay. But then we've got salir. Okay. Salir is just to leave. It's to leave a place. Salir. Or to come out of a place. Mm -hmm. Of a building, for example. Yeah. Then you've got sentences with a salir, like salir de fiesta, salir mm -hmm. de marcha, which is mm -hmm. to, to go out partying or to go yeah, out to party. To, to go out partying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So salir is literally is just the act of leaving. Leaving. Yeah, leaving. leaving. That's why, but it's, it's kind of one of those um, ones where you could say, yeah, eh, salgo a um, hacer algo, no? I'm going out to do something, or me voy. So yeah, Sally, it's just it could be come out or leave as well. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So sa salir when you when you're leaving, it's the same as irse, but that's the only similarity. Is it's, it's ah, both. Hmm. But imagine you're in somebody's place, okay? Uh -huh. They like invite you for dinner, and then it's time for you to go. Yeah. And then in English, you would what would you say in English? I'm going, okay, I'm going to go, I'm off. Okay, so I'm, I'm off, off now. Right? So we would say, me voy. Mm -hmm. You couldn't, you wouldn't say salgo, because no. that would mean, I'm going outside. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you're going. Uh -huh. That just means you're going, you leaving, like you leaving the house. For example, somebody... Not to go to your house. <laughs> just like, yeah. I'm going out, outside of your house. Somebody's outside, somebody's outside shouting that they want you to go and you say, ahora salgo. Yes, Ready? for example, yeah. I'm like, going out now. Come out! And you can say, but ya salgo. Uh -huh. I'm coming out now. I'm coming yeah? out now. Coming out. So, yeah, that would be a difference. Yeah. So, so the, the, the real confusion is between ir and irse. I think the real confusion 
is between English and Spanish because you could say I'm leaving. Yeah. Which in, in Spanish would be irse and not salgo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. we say salir to leave. Yeah. Fine. But then sometimes you would say I'm leaving, which we wouldn't say salgo because salgo would mean um, coming out of a of a place, of a building, yeah. of a house or whatever. But you wouldn't say salgo in certain situations. But it doesn't, right? it doesn't mean I'm I'm going now, I'm leaving the party. Well, I'm leaving I'm leaving for I don't know. I'm leaving for Spain. For Spain. I mean, well, you could say salgo para España, but me voy a España would be me there. Me voy a España, ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah? Ajá. Uh -huh. I mean, we, do, we, do have, we, we could say salgo para España. Salgo para España, but uh, we tend to say me voy a España, or voy a España. Yeah. Uh -huh. if, you, if you have the destination, you can say both, me voy or voy, mm -hmm. once you, you say where. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So uh -huh. if you're coming out of a place, then you say salir, or for example, in a roundabout, Ah, uh, yeah. It says salida, salida, the exit. So sal, sal, en la salida, en la segunda salida. Se, come out in the second. Can you say come out? Second uh -huh. exit? Yeah. So in the roundabout as well. Or S salida, what does it say salida? Because it's an exit. Salir, so what's salida. the difference then between una salida yeah. uh -huh, and una chica salida? <laughs> Qué cruel, de verdad. <laughs> Tú sabes perfectamente la diferencia entre una salida y una chica salida. It's just being dirty. Don't don't listen to him. Don't just say Google that. it. Google it. Don't don't say that to anyone. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you use the sali, salido or salida with the verb estar, estar salido salida, it means uh, something sexual that like you you don't want to know. They probably do. They probably do. They probably do know. now. Google it. Yeah, Google it, yeah. Google it, yeah. We've, we've had enough with a wet dream. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nothing to do with salida, exit. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, bueno. Sí. There you are. Michael, I hope that uh, has helped you with your salir and irse. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsor. Muchas gracias, Ju. Ju. <laughs> Qué acento más, más correcto, ¿no? ¿De dónde? De, de Inglaterra. Es? ¿De dónde en Inglaterra? No sé. Es un acento neutral hacia el sur. Yo, yo esperaba que tú reconocieras más acentos, ¿sabes? Que dijeras, de allí, de allí, de allí. De India. ¿No? Do you know how many accents are in the UK? Well, at least the, the area, I can, yeah, not I can like recognize south. Them. No. I could say south, but you would you should be more specific. You should say south, blah, blah, blah. South, no, I, no, the south, I'm not an expert on the south. Well, all I know is that if you want a neutral like, accent, like you've, got to go, or... you've got to go down, right? Because as we go up north, there's no neutral accent. Right. So it's you've got to go down. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the green belt around London, sometimes right. people speak very nicely there. Right, because it, it, like, the London accent is very easy to spot. London's really strong accent. Yes, but yeah. then, then London is massive, and then I'm sure there, there are accents within, you know, London, like in areas of London, like the south. For sure, yeah, yeah for sure, yeah. I mean, it's, it, it, it's the same. You go from place to place, and the accent changes, and everybody knows what that accent is. <laughs> yeah. She'll tell us. Hey? She'll tell us where she's from. Yeah, where are you from, Jew? <laughs> They're on there, is. Now imagine she says something completely different, like Australia. I'm from... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, well, I said down and I was right, yeah. I have to say, I struggle sometimes with the Australian accent. Unless they have the A uh, sound, then I know they're from Australia because they say Aust they say the A uh instead of A. Uh -huh. If not, sometimes I think they're British. Yeah. If you get a very, a very well-spoken Australian, it's very difficult to hear those. Yes. Hear those, and it sounds very like received pronunciation in English. Uh, like I have to really pay attention for that sound. If I don't hear that sound, then I don't know. I'm sure there are other give giveaways, but mm -hmm. and that's also happened to me with some people from the U.S. Can you believe? Like people that speak really, really poshly in in the U.S. Yeah. Like sometimes, like if if I've heard a like a teacher or something like that talking, I'm like, is that person British? 
and you've said to me, no, he's, he's American, but wow, like they don't have the American accent that I, you know, sure. the, the standard sure. American accent that you uh, hear. They have a very like towards British in some things. I think if you're going to go for the standard received pronunciation, then you, then it's difficult. To, you're going to have just the tiny little the vowels. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, Unlike yeah. people from Newcastle. <laughs> no, I, I recognize those like, like that. I go Newcastle. <laughs> maybe, maybe I get it wrong, and people go, "No, it's not Newcastle. It's Gateshead." And then he tells me off because it's a big difference because they said this and. Uh, but I I tend to that area is easy for me. I go yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what we thought we'd do today, just to promote uh, what our re resources, is show you some of the books that we've got on the market, all available on Amazon. And Cynthia is going to be our wonderful pr presenter of the books. So we have, <laughs> for beginners, and up toward uh, sort of early intermediate, we have Victor's Adventures in Spain. We have Victor's Adventures adventures one and two mm. yeah and the story's not over victor three has to be written yeah yeah has to be written okay so that yeah, one's that one's parallel text they're parallel textbooks that will take you through from beginner to intermediate and also with with an audio okay i mm. read this story in spanish and it starts off very slowly and then Little by little, I start to read more like a like a story, like a normal story. Sure. Um, speed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's an option, and then that's an option. <laughs> that's an option, and then we've got our book on Ser and Estar. Ser Estar. Okay, which covers all present and the past. In, in fact, it covers Ser and Estar in all tenses. Yes. Okay. In all yeah. tenses. And then we've got our perfecting the perfecting range, which is yeah, perfecting, perfecting the pronouns. The pronouns. All right, that's the low la, la le. And then we've got per perfecting the prepositions. Prepositions. Okay, that's the uh, por, para, and lots of other things like that. Then we've got perfecting the past. We've got the three P's, yeah. The three P's. Prepositions, pronouns, and past. And past, okay. Yeah. And the past is 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 our most popular book. And then and then we've we got have, sorry. I just present. All right, you, you just hold them, Cynthia. <laughs> I'll say them. what we've got. All right. <laughs> Let's not get mixed up on roles here. Uh, Spanish subjunctive, yeah. Spanish subjunctive. The mystifying the subjunctive. It's also one of our most popular books. And we've also got the Porempara, which is a very early book and very handy. I'm just busy recording the audio for that one. That's going to be out soon on Audible. Okay, and then we've got the first in the trilogy. Oh, we've got this one oh, as well for kiddies. Or oh, the Balcony of Terror. That's for kiddies, but it's designed for parents to read to kiddies. So we actually coach it. It comes with an audio, and we coach you on how to pronounce in Spanish. Yes. Yeah. And there are also little things like that you can cut. Flashcards. Flashcards, exactly. Yeah. I always forget the name. Yeah. Flashcards. And then, and lastly, we've got our Road to Morocco, which this is the first in the trilogy, a four a part trilogy, actually. Like it's a four part. I don't. The know. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Road to Morocco, my my story, but it's a parallel textbook, which Cynthia has done a wonderful job in in translating it over to Spanish. Yes. Yeah. So there you are. So they're all available on Amazon. Um, many people have already got them all. And they're saying to us, make some more. <laughs> Which we do. You're not working hard enough. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So we're currently working on an audiobook and we're currently working on um, perfecting your tenses in Spanish. Muy bien, claro, That's going to eh? be a big one. Mm -hmm. Bueno. A, a big one like a big book or a big one like a, a good book? Both. <laughs> big and good. <laughs> Grande y muy bueno. There, there was a book that you had, like 501 verbs. Verbs, verbs or something, and it was humongous. I know, and then every time every time I saw it, they were kept adding more verbs. It was 510 <laughs> verbs, 535 verbs. Well, 501 Yeah, was for five. those that go, I've learned these 501 verbs. I know verbs. all of these I verbs. need more verbs. Exactly. <laughs> Give me more. Entonces, chicos, eso es todo. Y ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. Adiós.